Today I'm in uh, Nagaoka Kyo, which is a city in Kyoto Prefecture, just about 15 minutes southwest of the central Kyoto city. Very historical city because this city was actually the location of Japan's capital before the capital was actually moved to, uh, to Kyoto, to Heian Kyo. So it's a very historical area and it has many, many beautiful historical places to, uh, to visit, many beautiful temples, many, uh, even a castle, and uh, also a very, very famous shrine. So we're going to take a look at uh, some of them in this edition and in upcoming editions of Chris Channel Japan. Now one of the wonderful places here in Nagaoka Kyo is a castle. Not a very big castle, but a castle indeed. Um, today we have a replica of the castle currently located here in this park, which is uh, just behind me. It's called Shoryujijo, and uh, it was located right here in the southwest part of the Kyoto Basin. And it was located at the intersection of very two important roads two major roads at uh, that time in history, the Saikoku and also the Toba roads. And uh, following Yamashiro Castle, it was the second most strategic castle, one of the footholds that was here to, of course, defend Kyoto. The castle got its name from a nearby temple called Shoryuji, and uh, I'll try and stop by the temple a little bit later on and have you uh, and give you a look at it. So let's uh, take a look inside. The main entrance to the castle is now the Koraemon Gate, which is on the southern side of the grounds. After crossing the moat, visitors walk through the impressive gate and immediately come upon the visitor center and gallery, which is built in the style of a traditional Japanese castle. The original castle of the Flatland style was constructed in 1339 but later fell after which it was rebuilt in 1571. Much of the Honmaru main dungeon and its garden are preserved close to their original states. So here I am inside the, what would be actually probably the main dungeon of uh, Shodojijo Castle. It's been turned into a park where not just visitors, but also local people can uh, spend the daytime. It's a wonderful place to have a little stroll and it's got a nice uh, garden here, as you can see, and uh, it's got a waterfall in the back and the main dungeon, of course, is right behind me. Now, after this castle fell to uh, Oda Nobunaga, it was reconstructed in uh, 1571 just to justify the sovereignty of uh, Hosokawa Fujitaka. And uh, Hosokawa Fujitaka was a daimyo, a, saimo, a samurai daimyo, who, um, who later joined the Oda clan. And the leader, of course, Oda Nobunaga, later rewarded him with the fife of Tango, which is in northern Kyoto. So, of course, he went up to northern Kyoto and he gave this temple to his son, Hosokawa Tadaoki. Hosokawa Tadaoki is very, very famous because he married Akechi Hidemitsu's daughter who at that time had the name of Tama, but then who became a Christian, and she was one of the first samurai in the upper echelon of the samurai to take on Christianity. And this is the place where the son and Hosokawa Gracia, as she is known now, spent their days as newlyweds. Now every year here in Nagaoka Kyo, in uh, November, the second uh, weekend of November, there is something called the Gracia Festival, which uh, celebrates the time that she spent here in uh, Nagaoka Kyo before having to flee herself up to uh, into the northern part of Kyoto. However, this year the uh, festival has unfortunately been cancelled because of uh, COVID-19, but uh, if you happen to be here in Nagaoka Kyo in the following years, in the ensuing years, during the month of uh, November, please uh, check out the festival. It's, uh, it's uh, a lot of fun. Now one more thing, inside the castle they've recently opened up a gallery. 
This has only been open now for about a year or so. And it has uh, displays on Hosokawa Gracia, um, her life here in the temp, uh, her life here in the castle, the history of the castle, and of course the history of uh, Nagaoka Kyo, the city itself. <music> The castle was decommissioned and abandoned in 1649. Since recent surveys have found it employed pioneering construction techniques that withstood attack from firearm welding troops, it holds an important place in the history of Japanese castles. The current structure was completed in 1992. The outer walls, which have been reconstructed, give a good sense of what the castle was actually like. The moat and dry work of the outer wall remain from the original castle. Today the moat is lined with beautiful weeping willow trees which sway in the cool breezes. On the opposite side of today's main entrance is the North Gate, which leads directly to the Inner Garden. By the way, every year in late March or early April, the garden has many gorgeous cherry trees that bloom to announce the arrival of spring. To the right of today's North Gate is the remains of the original rampart after killing Oda Nobunaga at the nearby Battle of Yamazaki, Akechi Mitsuhide is said to have fled from the castle through this gate to his later death. The naturally shaped stones that compose this wall remain from that gate. Leaving the grounds by the north gate and heading back towards the station will bring you to Kotari Shrine. Although no one knows when it was first established, the shrine served to protect the former imperial palace for the ten years it was in Nagaoka-kyo. It was moved to its current location in 1872 in order to lay tracks for what is now the JR Tokaido Line. Within the precincts are the partial remains of Shoryujijo Castle's outer moat, a dry moat about six meters deep, which can now be seen in its excavated state. And as I promised earlier, let's take a quick visit to Shoryuji Temple. It's located in a quaint neighborhood about five minutes on foot south of the castle. The worship hall houses an 11-faced bodhisattva sculpted more than 800 years ago, which is an important cultural property. The shrine was founded in 806 by Kobo Daishi, or Kukai, as the high priest was later known. The statue outside is Kukai, dressed in clothing he wore on a nationwide pilgrimage. So that's our uh, look today at uh, Shoryuji Castle here in uh, Nagaoka Kyo. The city has uh, lots of other great places to uh, enjoy. So the next time you're here in Japan, please do check it out. And on future editions of uh, Chris Channel Japan, we'll be taking a look at some of those other places that you can enjoy in uh, Nagaoka Kyo City, especially as we enter the autumn, because there are some beautiful places with autumn foliage. So please check it out. If you like what you see, please do subscribe. We'd love to have you come along. Lots of great information for you free here because when people start traveling again, of course, Japan is going to be a very favorite place and we hope to see you here in Japan very, very soon.